ups in profits. Cal and it's got some California congressmen talking, Ted Lieu and New York Congresswoman Kathleen Rice. They are the lawmakers calling for an investigation by the SEC. Um, Congressman Lou, to you first, welcome. Taken alone, this clearly seems suspect, but if you actually know about the way trading works, the last 10 minutes of the trading day is when you see lots of macro books hedge, and they could hedge very big size. Why do you believe specifically there's something nefarious happening and there needs to be an investigation? Uh, thank you, Stephanie, for your question. I'm honored to be here with Representative Kathleen Rice. We're both former prosecutors. If this happened once or twice, we wouldn't think much of it. But now it's happened at least four times. And in these trades, they either made hundreds of millions of dollars or sometimes billions of dollars and it certainly raises red flags. That's why we've asked for an investigation of uh, the FBI, the SEC, as well as the Commodity Futures. Trading Commission to at least look into the propriety of these trades. Uh, Congresswoman Rice, this could be a coincidence. Remember, when a trade happens, somebody wins, somebody loses. So there's a losing side of the trade, too. Is it you just want to know more information or you actually know of wrongdoing that isn't made that hasn't been made public yet? Now, this is it's clearly to get information. Um, you know, it, it looks very much like there could be insider information being given to these traders, and that's when they, you know, made these trades, knowing that there was either going to be a international event or even a tweet from the president that could move the markets. You know, the president has made no bones about the fact that he knows that by tweeting something, whether it's true or false, he has the ability single-handedly to move the market. And I also, also think it's important to look at, uh, not, at this incident, not just uh, uh, as an isolated incident, but in the larger environment of questionable activity by this administration and people associated with it. Bill Cohen, the person who wrote the Vanity Fair article, reached out to the SEC. They said, show us the trades. A couple days later, they came back to him, and they said no comment. Congressman Liu, since you've put this request in to launch an investigation, has the SEC responded? Uh, normally, these institutions do not respond when we make these requests, but we just wanted to make sure that they know that Congress is watching and that they've got a formal request, and we expect them to do their job. I also note that people in the administration, as well as in Congress, we do get information. And in fact, a Republican congressman has been indicted. He had to resign uh, from New York uh, for insider trading. Uh, so clearly, there's people in the Trump administration that have information before it's public. We just want to know if any of them leaked this out or somehow gave it to people who then made trades. Then what happens from here, Congresswoman? Do you have any leverage or pressure that you can put uh, to the SEC? Do they owe you any sort of response? You've put the request in. Can they just keep moving on and do nothing? Well, very often agencies will give no comment um, because they say we, we don't comment on ongoing investigations. And Ted and I both understand that. But the problem that we have here is we have seen a um, almost a complete destruction of any regulatory action on uh, the part of federal agencies under the Trump administration. And Trump talks about how that's one of the things that he ran on. We're going to you know, get rid of all the regulation. But in this instance, it's important for Congress, since we do have oversight ability, um, you know, that that's our job, that we need to make it clear to these federal agencies that we have jurisdiction over, ultimately, that we are watching and we need them to do their job. And they but cannot what does that just mean? look the other way. If well, you, if you have have oversight responsibility, how do you actually get that information? The SEC could say, no thanks, we're all set. Well, we're going to keep pushing and we're going to keep making it public because this kind of behavior, what we see, which is so disturbing, Stephanie, is an attempt by Donald Trump and this administration to normalize behavior that swings from outright potentially criminal to a complete, completely ethically um, uh, improper behavior. And there is an attempt by this administration to normalize that behavior, to get the American public to say, I know that this is what you're seeing, but it shouldn't matter to you and it's not really what you're seeing. And we can't allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen. And, you know, Ted and I are going to continue to keep um, pushing these agencies to do what they should be doing from a regulatory standpoint. 
Uh, in terms of getting more information, let's talk about the impeachment inquiry before we go. Congressman Liu, specifically, do you believe that the process needs to be more open in order to help the, under, the, the American people know that it's fair? It's huge to see people go in for hours and hours of testimony, but we don't actually know what they're saying. Uh, Republicans do because their lawyers are in these rooms, the Republican members are in these rooms. But the they American get to ask people questions. don't. Uh, we're going to release the transcripts uh, when they're uh, done. The witnesses have to actually approve the transcripts. We're in the fact-finding phase. The House is acting like a grand jury. And when you're doing an investigation, you just don't do it in public. That's not what prosecutors do. It's not what the grand jury does. But at some point, these transcripts will be released. The American public will see what these witnesses have said. And then there will be open hearings. And, Stephanie, I think it's important to go back to the Ken Starr investigation. That was done in complete secrecy. And then that report was handed over to the Judiciary Committee. And so this is not irregular behavior. The Trump administration is trying to convince the American people that we're doing something in secret. But for, as former prosecutors, the general public, they know that, that investigations are done privately, and then the findings are brought publicly, and then the accused, if there are any, have the ability to respond. So this is totally normal procedure, and the American public should not be hoodwinked by this administration trying to, you know, taint this normal process that has happened before. Ah, a little historical perspective. Dear America, this is how it works. Congresswoman Rice, Congressman Liu, thank you so much for joining me this morning.